Also, too, another thing I want to clap back at people. Um, looks like people are, someone said something about me being with Robert somewhere. Oh, the Auburn game, whenever I went with Robert. First off, I went that day and came back that day. And as a single parent, for those of you that don't agree, that's fine to each their own. But in my opinion, as a single parent, you are allowed to take time for yourself. You're allowed to go out and just have a moment. So Lindsay Shiver was all smiles recently when she left a courtroom in the Bahamas. She had learned that the murder for hire case against her husband, Robert Shiver, is headed to the Supreme Court. So at least the case is moving forward, according to ABC News. But I'm sure Lindsay is not smiling if she's watching all these videos and photos of Robert Shiver with his girlfriend, Savannah Chrisley, seeing just how serious their relationship is getting. I've dug and dug and dug and found a bunch of details. And part of me believes, looking at clues and subliminals that Savannah might be putting out there, perhaps a wedding might be in the near future. But of course, Robert's divorce from Lindsay Lindsay would have to be finalized first. We're going to talk about what prosecutors have said about Lindsay and that all important July 16th, 2023 day that we saw play out on body cam footage when Lindsay and Robert got into a big argument about Lindsay not getting on that private jet and how that was the day that started the ball rolling on this whole murder for hire plot. Hey, Hey. Of course he's inside now. Okay. So what, what's going on? Y'all are separated or what, what's the, the deal? We have filed for divorce. Also, we'll talk about how closely people are tracking Robert and Savannah on that private jet. They recently used it to attend the Iron Bowl. They spent a lot of time together over Thanksgiving. There was a special Thanksgiving Day message that Savannah wrote and posted on social media. She's been talking about Robert more lately, as she hinted at in a recent Instagram Live, and she'll talk about him on an upcoming podcast. Daddy yesterday, and it made me so happy. Um, it's been the first time I've seen him in a few weeks because we had holidays and uh, vacations, and I go into depth about how I spent my Thanksgiving holiday because other people decided to report on it. So... I decided to go a little bit in depth on my podcast, Unlocked, about holiday plans, what we did, um, and it was a great little mix-up. Uh, War Eagle, hmm, we'll go with it. Uh and this duo, Savannah and Robert, seem to be blending their families pretty seamlessly. Sources close to the Shiver family say that Robert had planned on spending Thanksgiving with his three boys at their home in Bakers Bay in the Bahamas. Allegedly, Lindsay's U.S. and Bahamian legal teams both felt that it would be an excellent opportunity for Lindsay to be able to reunite with her three boys, whom she has not seen since the beginning of July. Sources close to Lindsay say that there had already been discussions between Lindsay and her three boys that they were going to be able to reunite over Thanksgiving. The sources also say that Lindsay and her three boys were very much looking forward to being able to spend some time together, but that that is no longer possible because Robert decided to nix those plans and instead of going to the Bahamas, travel with Savannah Chrisley and her siblings and his three boys to Turks and Caicos. Savannah Chrisley made this post on her Instagram and I am told that this is on the Shivers private jet of which Lindsay and Robert each own 25%. And based off of other posts that Savannah has made, they are staying at the Turks home of Jason and Brittany Aldine. So, in case you need a refresher or you haven't heard of this case, Lindsay Shiver is the mother of three boys who is accused of concocting this murder-for-hire plot against her husband by using her little Bahamian boy toy, younger boyfriend, and his friend. Supposedly, Lindsay was caught red-handed sending messages, WhatsApp messages, or photos of Robert saying, kill him, to her boyfriend. So, Lindsay was arrested along with her co-conspirator 
conspirators and she is now out on a hundred thousand dollars bail in the Bahamas but she wants to leave that's another thing that came to light that her lawyer will be fighting for after this most recent Friday hearing so Lindsay appeared in court Friday, December 1st, 2023. Unfortunately, I haven't found any footage. I don't think they allow it. It's not like court TV can just set up shop in the courtroom and let us see everything that's happening. But Lindsay appeared in court Friday, December 1st. She wore a white blazer and she was all smiles when she left. We don't know what happened inside in terms of video footage, but we do know that her estranged husband, Robert Shiver, is using this time to live it up with his girlfriend, Savannah Chrisley. People feel some type of way. Some people think they're a great couple. People love Savannah. She's beautiful. She's stepping up to the task. Maybe they're trauma bonding. Robert survived this alleged murder for hire plot against his life he fled the bahamas back in july savannah's going through her own trauma of sorts because both of her parents are now in jail for fraud and savannah had to step up to the plate to be there she calls herself a single parent to her younger siblings um you look beautiful thank you so much how's mom doing she's doing okay you know it sucks um my eyes have been open to something that I never thought it would be open to, but I'm grateful for it because it's allowed me to create change and I love it. Um, I love the free Todd and Julie. I feel like we need like a movement for when we have oral arguments in Atlanta. I mean, hey, everyone show up to the courthouse in March. Uh, and yeah, let's see. Wish I could pull up the short hairstyle. Okay, y'all. So my hair was longer than this, but I got tired of fixing it, honestly, if I'm being real. And so Tyler cut it. I also have a really big interview tomorrow, so I want it to be like a sleek, very sophisticated haircut. Um, how are the kids doing? The kids are doing really good, you know, under the circumstances. Obviously, holidays are hard. Missing mom and dad is hard, but the kids are doing okay. Um, right now, Nanny Faye is staying with them because I am in New York working. I have, I'm in New York, and then I have a conference in Atlanta I have to go to, so... So while Lindsay was going through her courtroom drama, prior to that, Savannah and Robert attended the Iron Bowl. That's when the Alabama Crimson Tide defeated the Auburn Tigers on Saturday, November 25th. The game kicked off at 3.30 Eastern. It was held at the Jordan Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. It's kind of a routine, I guess. We know that Lindsay and Robert met at Auburn University many, many moons ago. Lindsay was a cheerleader, but if memory serves, it was not for Auburn, but she was also a former beauty queen, and that's how every news report seems to refer to her. Folks caught photos of Savannah and Robert tailgating. You can tell Savannah's wearing the same color shirt, kind of orange when she was tailgating as when she was captured on photo leaving the plane with Robert. I mean, people really have their eyes on them. Too bad you can't track the flight plan of that private jet in public. And yes, according to our news out of Nassau, Bahamas, they call Lindsay an American housewife whose lover and his friend have all been committed to stand trial in front of the Supreme Court. We don't know when that trial will take place. At least this case is moving forward slowly. I didn't even expect Lindsay to have any hearings in December, although they said she would, but people spoke of how slowly the Bahamian government, the wheels of justice can move along, even slower than the American justice system at times. We should get to see Lindsay Shiver along with her lover Terrence Bethel and his friend Farron Newbold Jr. when they're arraigned coming up this Friday, December 8th. Now once again, reports say that prosecuting attorneys are alleging that this whole murder plot kicked off on July 16th, 2023. Lindsay and her alleged co-conspirators would be arrested one week later. Now that date is very important, July 16th, 2023. 
day three because if you haven't seen all the body cam footage yet, you've got to watch it. That's the day, D-Day, that Lindsay and Robert were arguing so much at their Thomasville mansion. Lindsay wanted to board the jet with Robert and their three boys. Lindsay wanted to hop off and basically go off in the Bahamas with her boyfriend. While Robert said, no, she's not boarding this jet. That would confuse the boys. Lindsay argued to the cops, it's just an hour on an airplane with our kids. For the last three weeks, maybe longer, she's had her couple's trip planned with her boyfriend to go to Key West. Okay, but I'm, she just said you're going. I, that was to Key West. <laughs> they don't. I'm taking my kids, my three boys, to the Bahamas this morning. Our kids. Our kids. Yesterday, she sent a message saying that she's going to change her plans and now get on the airplane with me and the kids to go to the Bahamas. And, I own two, and when by we way. land, she's going to go to her boyfriend. Elsewhere. And me and the kids are going to our house. And I told her I'm not supporting that. And you're not getting on the airplane. That can mess with the kids' heads. And it's just something we're not going to do. Well, I own 50% of an airplane. She, on paper, owns 25 of that. And majority owner, the, or the other 50% owner, and myself are both in agreement to not have her on the airplane. So 75% says we don't want you on the plane. That doesn't mean you get aggressive, push me out of the way, push start unloading my car. Push you out of the way? Yes, Lindsay. at the back of the car. Okay, Lindsay, I do not push you or anything. He doesn't want me to go. I raised the back to grab my kids' suitcases. So <laughs> With a locked leave. car. So we could leave. That's all it is. I'm going to tell you both, like I told you a minute ago, y'all have filed for divorce, okay? In situations like this, the best thing that we always recommend is y'all separate. So on that fateful July 16th, 2023 day, Robert prevented Lindsay from boarding that private jet. I think Lindsay thought the cops would force Robert to not get on the plane or either force Robert to make her get on the plane, but it didn't work out that way. ABC News also confirms that was the last day that Lindsay saw her children. Now, if you want to watch that body cam footage again, I just uploaded all three body cam videos from three different cops' perspectives. I got it directly from Thomasville, Georgia, and I put it over on my Patreon account. I remember the day body cam footage showed up from Thomasville in my mailbox, unsuspectingly in my mailbox, and I thought, Oh, maybe that's that Lindsay Shiver request I put through. I put through a Freedom of Information Act request for a lot of happenings at that Thomasville, Georgia mansion. Little did I know we would get the July 16th footage and other footage as well, exposing that pivotal day, the day that Lindsay decided not to take the high road and unfortunately made a decision that could affect the rest of her life. If you want to watch all the raw body cam footage, the way police gave it to me from Thomasville from that July 16th day, look at the links below, watch it on Patreon. I know I've gotten requests from Inside Edition and probably other places for all that raw footage. I've uploaded it with no watermarks so anyone can go over there and watch it and screen record it if you need to. Speaking of that body cam footage, when Lindsay figures out that the cops are going to let Robert take the kids' suitcases out of her Cadillac Escalade, the Black Widow as it were, and allow Robert to put it in his big truck, take off, go grab all three boys and take them down to Baker's Bay without her, that's when she starts texting. Wouldn't it be amazing if it's caught on camera while the police are there, was Lindsay texting her boyfriend? right then and there at that moment kill him what a bad decision she made now obviously if prosecutors know enough to know that the murder for hire plot started on that exact day a sunday no less july 16th that means they have enough evidence to confront lindsay with those messages and get lindsay's confession as they reportedly already have saying that she did indeed send those text messages 
Despite all of the harm that Lindsay allegedly planned to bring to Robert, her lawyer is still planning to file a variation on the bail, which would allow Lindsay to leave the Bahamas and go see her kids. The kids she hasn't seen in months, Apparently, she hasn't seen them in person in months, not since July 16th. I'm not sure if she's able to FaceTime them or talk to them on the phone. But according to Lindsay, she's been having a hard go of it. Allegedly, thousands of dollars were stolen from the place where she was staying in the Bahamas. I'm not sure if Lindsay's been able to relocate either yet, but I know that Robert and Savannah have been darting all over. And we even have rumors about Lindsay and Robert allegedly spending Thanksgiving in Turks and Caicos as well. Reportedly, according to True Crime Mama, who knows some insiders in this case, Lindsay had wanted Robert to fly the boys to Baker's Bay. I know there's some kind of no contact order in place, so I don't know how the handoff or supervision would have worked, but Lindsay wanted to see her boys for Thanksgiving. Reportedly, Robert did not do that. Instead, it appears that Savannah Chrisley once again appeared on the private jet the PJ instead of Lindsay, of course, with at least one of her younger siblings. And they may have spent time in Turks and Caicos with Robert. Not sure if the boys were with him. I'm assuming these families are blending together here. On Thanksgiving, staying at Jason and Brittany Aldean's place in Turks and Caicos. You know, these internet sleuths are noticing everything. And then perhaps that's when they did their little iron bowl trip away from the kids that Saturday. So Savannah does defend herself or either she's defending Robert. It gets a little confusing, but she talks about a single parent needing just one day away from the kids and there's nothing wrong with that. At first, I thought she only was referring to Robert as a single parent, but it appears she may have been referring to herself as well, since she is the caretaker of her siblings. Have adult interaction. Go out on a date. Go out to dinner with a friend, whatever it may be, because there's no way you can be good for your kid if you're not good for yourself. So I was gone for a day. I'm not out here leaving the kids just for frivolous things that don't mean anything. Um, I'm not going on trips with friends. I'm not. Literally, I went with Robert to one place and I get lambasted. So self-care is important. And if I don't, I mean, I'm a single freaking parent at home for God's sake. Like I am allowed to have a weekend a month to myself. So setting that record straight. And right now I'm in New York for work. I have a big interview tomorrow and I'm so excited because promos for the interview will air during the next Republican debate. And then the interview I think will air a day or two after, but I will give you guys more uh, info as it comes out. But I'm super excited. A lot of things are going to come out and a lot of people may be upset, but it is what it is. I mean, the truth has to be told. So her and Robert kind of have a lot in common. With their world shifted recently and finding themselves taking on more responsibility as the sole primary person taking care of younger people. Um, like I said, my only recommendation for you is that y'all just separate. Well, it's always just going to be a he said, she said. I mean, I mean, you get video footage, you have surveillance cameras, you have something that I can look at and say, yes, he put his hands on you. I mean, you know. Okay. We have an independent witness that's non-biased. I mean, you know, something, other statements. But right now I have you and him. So now I even asked Savannah during a recent live what she thinks about Lindsay wanting to see the boys, if it should be allowed. Of course, if she saw my comments, she avoided it and didn't answer. Uh, let's see. So many questions. Let's see. I'm going to answer a few questions before I leave to go to dinner. Hire a nanny. You got the money. First off, guys, I don't know what you think, um, but like I said, I am a single parent, single income household, and also I don't want other people to, not, not to bash on people that have nannies because to each their own, but the kids have already lost the two most important people in their life. Um, and I am just not going to have a nanny raising these kids. Um, I want to try to give them everything I've got and that's where I'm at. 
Um, I also have some family help around me. So I am going to utilize the family help that I have with my grandparents and let's try to raise them that way. Um, I could hardly blame Robert for not wanting to fly the boys down to see Lindsay. It seems like he might feel triggered in that dangerous situation, you know, taking the boys back to the Bahamas to see the mom who allegedly planned and plotted to get rid of their dad. Savannah did talk about speaking out more about Robert and her relationship. She talked about different outlets already outing her in terms of where Savannah and Robert had spent their Thanksgiving holiday, but I don't know exactly who she meant. At certain points in Savannah's Instagram Live video, she started smiling and it was pausing. She talked about her dinner plans. She talked about someone was calling in and she had to go. You're doing great. What's the new show? So the new show is going to be on a network, I can tell you that. We're at final negotiations, so there will be more to come there. Um, you're doing great. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Yes, another show. Coming, and I'm excited. God only knows what it's going to touch on. I mean, life to where all boots are off. There are no limits. There, um, you just get what you get. Also, someone asked if I could give a shout out to their daughter Harper. She's watching the show now. Let me just tell you, hi Harper. Um, thank you for watching the show. I appreciate your love and support. And also, Harper is on my baby list name. So, you got a good name. Let's see. Why are you doing this alone? Um, I feel like, hold on, I gotta find my other shoe. Um, I feel like everyone is in completely different places in life right now. Um, my parents left me custody of the kids, so therefore it's my job to love and protect them. And if other people wanna help me along the way, great. Luckily, um, a really good resource and just friendship has been Holly. Uh, I don't know if you guys have followed me, but Holly is one of my best friends. And we don't post a lot together. She barely uses social media, but she's been awesome. There have been times where she has messaged me. There was one weekend, I will never forget it. And she was like, hey, can I come get Chloe and take her to do something fun? And I thought, okay, well, she's asking me, you know, Nash is gonna be there, which is her son, and they're gonna have fun. And little did I know, Holly didn't even have Nash that weekend. And Holly was like, I just wanted to take her so that you had a minute to yourself. And that's what that's what friends are. Um, also too, she has been more family to me than <laughs> family members of mine. So family is what you make it. I will remind you of that. For anyone struggling with family relationships, don't put so much emphasis on the name family, because it doesn't matter if you're born into that family. If someone treats you, just because you're blood, it doesn't mean you get to allow people to treat you with disrespect and just hatred. And mm -mm, I don't roll with that. So friends can be more of family to you than family. Let's see. Love your top, please share. Okay, y'all, I got this top from a store in Nashville called Emerson Grace, like years ago. Years, years, years ago. So, I don't know. It's called recycling, you know? Every few years, styles come back in and don't wear something for a while. And it looks like it's brand new. Hmm. But, I'm getting a call, so have a good night. <laughs> was that Robert calling in? Perhaps it was. Savannah did say since all these other outlets had outed her in terms of her recent vacation plans, she went ahead and spoke about them on her podcast. All these different things, but I believe that you can have expectation while at the same time checking in and caring about a man's emotional state. 
But when I watched the entire most recent episode of Savannah's podcast, she interviewed a guy named Dax. That was from November 28th, and she didn't mention Robert at all. So my ears are perked up for Savannah's next podcast, where she'll probably start spilling more beans about Robert and her vacation time with him. Now, Robert was not in court, according to ABC News, this past Friday. I don't blame him again. I doubt that Robert would want to necessarily return to the Bahamas anytime soon, especially since Lindsay and her alleged co-conspirators are out on bail. The last time he probably left the Bahamas in a hurry after he told police or vice versa about a murder plot against him, it had to be a really scary feeling. So I'm sure Robert wants to see justice happen in terms of Lindsay's situation, but I'm sure he won't want to fly down to the Bahamas and sit in court necessarily and just watch the whole thing play out. I wouldn't blame him for being afraid. And yet other detractors are out there. They are kind of criticizing Savannah and Robert for being so out there with their relationship because indeed, he isn't divorced yet. Other people are criticizing Savannah for sliding into Robert's DMs and hooking up with him, perhaps only because he is a man who comes from wealth, has a private jet, can provide her that lifestyle that she's used to, or at least was used to prior to her parents going to jail. But again, this alleged murder plot was uncovered when police were investigating a break-in at the Grabber's Bar. It's in Guanake, or do you say Key, in Abaco Islands. Terrence Bethel worked at the bar as a bartender, and according to our news, he was arrested in relation to the break-in and theft. It's not exactly clear all the details details of that break-in. But that's what helped police uncover all these damning messages that Lindsay apparently sent, in essence putting a hit out on her husband. I imagine the events of that July 16th day made Lindsay so angry that she just refused to calm down and look the other way. Now, some people, of course, like myself and others, we did have sympathy for Lindsay. I'm not some Lindsay apologist, but when I initially read Lindsay's divorce paperwork and she talked about allegations of mistreatment and abuse from her husband, and we listened to some shady 911 calls from her husband, Robert, calling the police in a proactive manner, talking about some kind of thumb drive he received at his office and at the home of his parents, with photos of his wife on them, some of us did think it was kind of shady. Now, we still don't know what all that was about, but we do hope the truth will be uncovered. There was a video posted on the YouTube account named Aviate Alabama on November 30th, 2023, that showed the plane coming in, that telltale Honda private jet with Robert's unique number on the tail, N1100H. And then we saw video of Robert and Savannah walking off the plane. Even though there hasn't been much movement on the divorce front lately, between the case of Robert and Lindsay, I do feel as soon as that divorce is final, maybe we will see a fat diamond engagement ring on Savannah's finger. And I will tell you why when I read what she posted to social media recently. I'm sure she can see herself traveling around in that luxury private jet for the rest of her life with Robert's kids, her younger siblings, and any kids they might end up having in common. <laughs> It's a 2018 HA420 private jet. Now, a new Honda HA420 jet like that cost anywhere from $5.8 million up. If it's a used aircraft, it starts at around $3.5 million. It is a fixed wing multi-engine jet with eight seats and two engines. And isn't it so ironic? It's the same jet that Lindsay boasted on Instagram posting pictures of the same number on the tail with her girlfriends in front of the PJ and even her own parents and her kids on the jet as well going a variety of places. Like there was one photo from February 8th, 2023 with Lindsay and her girlfriends posted up in front of the jet. What a difference 10 months can make when you make such a mistake that Lindsay likely made. Now back then on February 8th, Lindsay wrote in the caption, when the girls trip finally makes it out of the group chat, hashtag girls night, hashtag girls trip, 
hashtag beach life, hashtag Bahamas, and she tagged Baker's Bay Club. Can you imagine that was still this year, 2023, February 8th, just a few months later, July 16th, the big run-in, the big decision, the big pivotal wrong decision when Robert wouldn't let her on that PJ instead of going one route where Lindsay could have just taken her butt in the house and calmed down and waited for the divorce that they'd already filed to just play out legally. Instead, prosecutors are alleging that's the day she went ahead and wrote those damning text messages. And now, 10 months later since that February 8th day where she's posting in front of the private jet with her girlfriends, She's walking out of a courtroom not knowing her fate. Could she get 30 years in prison or more? Will she ever see her boys again? These are such heavy decisions. Indeed, it appeared to be the same jet that comfortably fit Lindsay and Robert and her parents and their kids. It was last year on March 27th, 2022. Lindsay posted photographs to Instagram on that day, day one of Vail. Apparently they were jetting off to Vail, Colorado. She wrote hashtag Shiver Trio, hashtag Vail, hashtag Ski. As we await the next episode of Savannah Chrisley's Unlocked Locked podcast, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas at the Shiver home. It has an LED Christmas tree display out front. I'm sure that cozy couple is looking forward to spending Christmas together. Here's the big clue and giveaway as to how serious Savannah and Robert are getting. On Thanksgiving Day, she posted a tribute to all the people that appeared in her video, and Robert appeared in several of the photos. This is what she wrote. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you all have gotten to spend it with the ones you love, and if you haven't, just know that I see you, I feel you, I hurt for you, and I love you. As this holiday season kicks off, I can already feel the unbearable pain. Holiday grief is real. I miss my mama and daddy more than anything in this world. If I have learned anything this year, it's that life is short. This time last year, I was sitting with my sweet mama and daddy as well as Nick. We miss you, Nick. So love, love hard. Don't hold back. I may be sad, but I'm also unbelievably grateful for the people in these photos. There's too many people to count that have shown up and loved me and my siblings during this last year. If it wasn't for all these angels, I don't know what I would have done. Thank you all for teaching me that friends can be our chosen family. Thank you for showing up for me when I didn't have the strength to show up for myself. Thank you for helping me with these gorgeous kiddos. Sure does take a village to raise them. Thank you for loving us. I will never be able to thank you all enough for the impact that you have had on our lives, but I'll sure as heck try to for the rest of my life. I love you all, and to my grandparents, thank you for being the rock stars that you are and are showing up for me. And lastly, thank you, God, for keeping my heart open. Thank you for blessing me with a love that is patient and kind, a love that does not envy or boast, a love that that is not proud and does not dishonor others. A love that is not self-seeking and easily angered and a love that keeps no record of wrongs. Thank you for giving me everything I ever knew I needed. If you're struggling, just know that you can find beauty in the ashes. Keep pushing forward. Keep fighting the good fight. Hashtag holiday grief. Hashtag grief. Hashtag Thanksgiving. Hashtag love. The fact that Savannah used those verses 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, to close out that big Thanksgiving tribute in a reel, a video on Facebook where she included Robert in several of those photos is very telling to me. As anyone who has gotten married knows and is a believer and may not even be a Christian, you may have likely had that verse read at your wedding. I know it was read at my wedding in Maui, a blessed time. It says in the Holy Bible that love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude, love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful, it does not rejoice in the wrong but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. So faith, hope, and love abide the greatest, the far greatest of all is love. Savannah closes it off thanking God for that love, that patient love. And I feel like that was directed towards Robert 
thanking God for Robert and using a popular wedding verse read at so many weddings, so many ceremonies, as if Savannah is telling him she's ready. She's ready for this marriage. She's ready for this divorce, I'm sure, and she's ready to step in as the bonus mom to those three Shiver boys. I think this could be a very cute union, and I really do hope it works out. Now let's read the amplified version of those same verses. Love endures with patience and serenity. Love is kind and thoughtful and is not jealous or envious. Love does not brag and is not proud or arrogant. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not provoked nor overly sensitive and easily angered. It does not take into account a wrong endured. It does not rejoice at injustice, but rejoices with the truth when right and truth prevail. Love bears all things regardless of what comes, believes all things, looking for the best in each one, hopes all things, remaining steadfast during difficult times, endures all things without weakening. Love never fails. It never fades nor ends. But as for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for the gift of special knowledge, it will pass away. So what do you think is going to happen with Lindsay next week? Will they make a decision on whether her bail variation will go through? Will they allow her to leave the Bahamas? Will she come back to Georgia? I'm sure folks will catch her on video if she does step foot back in the U.S. on the mainland. And will she be a flight risk? Will they raise her bail amount? What will be the ramifications to keep her from just disappearing? I don't know what will happen with Lindsay, but I know right now she's got to be kicking herself. No matter what happened in her marriage with Robert, if there was truly manipulation or abuse and financial abuse or what have you, whatever happened, the answer is never to try and conspire with someone to put a hit out on someone. That cannot be the answer. And that pivotal July day, I'm sure Lindsay wishes she could do it all over again. So stay tuned as we watch out for Savannah and Robert perhaps getting more serious, maybe heading down the wedding aisle, keeping track of the divorce news between Lindsay and Robert, and also keeping track of Lindsay's case along with those of her alleged co-conspirators as it heads off to the Supreme Court in the Bahamas. This case has a lot of moving parts, but I want to keep up with all of them. Thank you so much for watching. Visit all the links to my sources and everything below. Thank you guys so much. All right, what do you have here, cops? So right, now, so now I'm able to get my kids stuff back out of the vehicle. Okay, why are we doing this though? Why, why do you need to do that? Well, because he's taken my kids. So we're going to go back and so we're going to stand here while y'all go back and forth moving suitcases back and but forth that's between what I'm cars. Saying, so that's what's just happened. If that's what you feel like you need to do, then then I mean, then by all means do it. But you understand it; it's making the situation worse, and you're doing it in front of the children now. I, I don't. Our plans have been the same for weeks. I now have to go pick up our other two kids. I so just told her I was going to do that. Lana just called me and said we can do it. I'll go get Grayson. I can pick him up. I just said I'm going to get Grayson. You heard me say the pilot said it's too late to And I'm going to get Grayson. And where is he going? Because I need to get him so I can get okay. We're just not. I'm trying to take all three boys, which is what I've had planned. I'm asking where you take them because okay. I need to pick him up. And I can just leave straight from okay, I'll bring him to you, Robert. Where is he right now? Okay. Is he at Chayton's house? Whose house is he at? I can pick him up on the way out. I'll go get landed and pick him up. So you're free to go? I'm doing what I have planned for the whole time. Okay. 